The key change that's happening in agriculture and particularly in the beef industry at the moment is just the amount of data that's coming forward and the new measurement technologies are in part of that. Meat Standards Australia and the measurements that underpin that and particularly the launch of the new index allows producers to have a really good benchmark of their performance. We're going to see much more information around how the brands want their products supplied, particularly from farm gate. With new measurement technologies coming on board such as prediction of lean meat yield and prediction of marbling and ossification, we'll start to see producers have much more confidence in the measurements they're getting and therefore much more confidence in the benchmarks that industry are providing back to them to make changes. The first glimpse of the stuff that we got excited about was a company called Karamatech. They're a, a Danish company, work for the Danish Research Crown. And we started looking at, a, at a, a, a technology that they've called, which is bioelectrical impedance. They call it a fatometer, and it measures and it does uh, really good jobs on GR fat for lamb. It measures C fat and eye muscle depth. Also does P8 and rib fat quite e e eloquently. Then we can go into X-ray technology, so Sexa and Dexa. You've got to be really careful about how you say those. But basically, Dexa is dual emission X-ray analysis, so it's taking X-rays. If you take a high energy X-ray and a low energy X-ray and put them together, you can actually separate out bone, muscle, and fat. You can separate out bone, muscle and fat. What can you do? You can separate out yield. So I was talking to a guy, Paul McGreevy, Professor Paul McGreevy. He said, I've got this technology that we use in racehorses to measure stress in racehorses. It's an optical infrared camera. Would you be interested in looking at a project for beef? So we set that up. So this is animals moving in a lairage. You can see as they move and start to get a little bit stressed, they start to heat up in certain regions. So notice the third animal, see how it's starting to glow red. So already we're starting to know that animal's heating up and it's stressing. So we could put this back on farm to measure stress levels on farm. We could put it in lairage to measure stress levels in lairage. Measurements are going to be key and if you're not measuring everything and, and anything at this point in time, not that you mightn't use it today, but I think in the next couple of years you'll use most of the things we measure on farm. So live weight gain, uh, aspects around feed efficiency, aspects around eating quality, aspects around carcass performance are all going to be measured in situ and then we finally we'll start to have a really good look at how might, that might integrate back into genetic selection and particularly into genomic prediction. All of these technologies are coming, have a look. Cattle of the future, it's going to be a lot of information. The Meat Standards Australia forums and producer awards have really given the producers the opportunity to have a look at what really constitutes the performance in their paddock, how they actually can relate performance in their paddock to what's happening over the hooks and more importantly where they sit relative to their peers and their contemporaries not only within the state but also across Australia.